Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and today we're going to do an update on the DreamWorks land coming to Universal Studios Florida. We're going to start off with this beautiful aerial, aerial from Bio Reconstruct that shows the Troller Coaster and the whole land. Shrek, Kung Fu Panda, Troller Coaster, and Trolls, um, the Trolls area, all in this lovely area, the formerly Kids Zone area. And let's take a look at this aerial photo real quickly. Looking at the aerial photo, we can start with the bottom there with the Kung Fu Panda area. The Kung Fu Panda area is looking quite nicely and it's going to have lots of interactive features including an interactive gong and that interactive gong it can be seen at that yellow arrow thanks to Bio Reconstruct and all his lovely photos. They'll have a, this will be a splash pad, splash a wet and dry area and you can go talk to Mr. Ping and, and Mr. Pong and get Mr. Ping's noodles as well and do a Poe Live interact, little interactive meet and greet with Poe himself. Moving up north from the Kung Fu, air, Kung Fu Panda area is the Trolls area. You can see the Troller Coaster looking quite nice, all painted with lots of thematic elements, and we'll get uh, some closer images of that later. And the little uh, little Tots play area that I previously thought was a flat ride, but it's not. It's a nice little play area, and that is that pink mushroom over um, to the right-hand side. And up above that is the Shrex area. You can see Shrek Swamp uh, for little ogres, and the Shrek Swamp meet and greet plus Mama Luna's area all which will include plenty of meet and greets and areas for children and interactive things to do for families and young children. Here's an on the ground shot from Bio Reconstruct of the Mama Luna area. This will be the, again that interactive cat, um, cat screening game for the children and you can do some put in bo Puss and Boots meet and greet characters will be out there. You can meet Puss and Boots and then of course uh, all the characters from associated from that franchise right in front of this location. Here's a rare shot of the DreamWorks land at nighttime with featuring the Shrek Swamp House and the DreamWorks land marquee at all shining up in what looks to be Trolls colors as well. But rumor has it this is not the final marquee for the uh, area. Uh, there'll be a new inter or new a 3D um, looking th DreamWorks sign, DreamWorks land sign when the land opens or closer to opening of the land that is the rumor so hopefully that comes to fruition because this land looks a little bit 2d and kind of flat so a new a new sound would be quite nice here's a daytime shot of daytime shot of shrek's swamp house with with the troller coaster in the background you can see lots of shrubbery has been added even from the last update for shrek's swamp house and again this is the area we can meet, go ahead and meet uh princess fiona shrek and donkey donkey hopefully and i'm praying that donkey has a better uh you know gl a glow up from the previous version hopefully he looks more like hollywood's version uh, because the orlando version the previous orlando version uh, did not look like donkey at all here are shrek swamps play area for little ogres and, and yeah little ogres and big ogres can play here because my goodness they have a little ogre area um for where those cattails are for that's like a water feature but they have plenty of slides climb you can climb through um tree stumps and you can run around on rope bridges and all that good stuff this is a huge play area and about the same size as the one coming to the how to train your dragon area at epic universe which is quite nice it'll be fun for the whole family especially if parents want to just let off some steam uh, let their kids love some steam while they relax yeah this is a perfect area for that to happen Here's King Harold's Swamp Symphony um, for everyone. This is also really for the little toss, the little kids. You can jump on those lily pads and they can make musical notes, musical sounds. And you have all those frogs there and King Harold himself. Hopefully, one of the frogs or all of them will be uh, limited animatronics. Almost like the, the frog choir at, uh, well, that's a puppet, but something like the frog choir at the Harry Potter areas around the Universal Parks. Hopefully, these frogs will kind of just move or make some, make their mouths move. So it'll be quite nice to go ahead and uh, make some piano sounds with King Harold himself. Looking at the Troller Coaster, you can see um, lots of thematic elements have been added, including what I think is either a repainted or a brand new uh, Q structure going under the coaster has been painted in those troller color, troller rainbow colors. But this whole coaster, I think, looks way better than Woody Woodpecker's ever did with the multiple colors and added thematic elements. And you can see there's a boom lift, someone on a boom lift there, and they're painting the top of the lift hill. Here's the beautiful looking location for Troll Streets. I love this massive boom box location. It looks really, really cool. And this is where you can see the order and pickup windows are each speaker, which is quite creative. And you'll get plenty of cool uh, snacks and treats here for the Trolls area and the Trolls themed treats. 
and this should look pretty nice. Here's another look at troll streets and the associated benches. I do love those benches that they have surrounding the trees, and when the trees grow in, it will be provide some beautiful shade for the very hot and intense Florida heat. And that is going to do it for this quick little update for the DreamWorks land out in Florida. It's supposed to open this, or it's going to open this summer, hopefully by July or August, but I think maybe even maybe May or June. Universal is going to release a whole bunch of announcements for all their parks and resorts this month. So look for something every single week, and I'm sure a DreamWorks land opening date will be in there somewhere. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, press that subscribe button. And hey, if you want to contribute more to the channel, consider becoming a YouTube member. YouTube members get early access to videos like this one as, as well as member-only live chats and member-only uh, exclusive rumor podcast that is coming out at least once a month. Episode 1 is already out and episode 2 will be on Disney rumors coming out in the next couple of weeks. If you'd like to support the channel in a different way, check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash club722 club or click the link here on the end screen. You'll get access to exclusive permit information from all the parks on the west coast and i'm trying to get some east coast permits as well to see what is coming to universal and disney parks around the world other than that that is it for this video i hope you really i hope you guys enjoyed it comment down below what are you looking forward to most in dreamworks land and as always have a universal day